I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. Somebody say, be not conformed, be not conformed. to this world. But be ye transformed. Somebody say, be ye transformed. Be By the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove. Somebody say, that ye may prove. What is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. For we, for as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, wherewith prophecy let us prophesy. According to the proportion of faith or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhorting, he that giveth, let him let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be without dissimulation. That which is evil, cleave to that which is good. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right there, and I'm going to give you the, the my point the the message that God has given me. I didn't know what it was going to be until just a few minutes ago. But what God has said to me is, gotta find my way back, right. and this time I won't err. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Christian conduct. Hallelujah. What is it going to take? What did it take? What will it take? You may be seated. Hallelujah. For us to get back into the condition and the position that God intended for the church to be in from the beginning. See, we've gotten away from it. We have strayed. We have error. I have some scriptures for, the, for you for that if you need it in just a minute. We've strayed. We've erred. We've gotten away from salvation and what it really means. A lot of us, we are, we are driven away by temptation. We are driven away by lust. We are driven away by strife and envy. Just all of these things to get us off focus of where God wants us to be. But I'm here today, whether you're saved or not, all of us need to be finding our way to Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And we need to understand that when we get back in the position that we need to be in, or continue in the position that we need to need to be in that we cannot error. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. If you if you will please turn with me again to I'm um, gonna go to first Timothy. If we look, we notice that throughout the gospel of, of John, Christ stood up because he knew who he was. He knew where he came from. He spoke the word of his father and he lived out his purpose. Regardless of how he was dishonored or disrespected, regardless of being misunderstood, doubted, criticized, lied on, he lived out his purpose and he represented his father, Christ, whom we know, Christ. He, he, he showed us and he gave us an example in John of what, it, what it's like when we stand up for our father, when we are doing what's right. And John states that he was in the temple, he was in the synagogue, I believe, of the Jews. And, and they were angry with him because and they were trying him. And they were like, you know, you're, you're, just, you're just the carpenter's son. You know, you were born out of fornication. And, and, and Abraham is our father. And, you know, just all of these things trying to call God a lie. But see, what he did was he stood up. He knew who the father is. And he told 
them. <laughs> Let me go to that word so I can give you the scripture. Uh, John 8 and 59. John chapter 8. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all about. Then said the Jews unto him. Now actually I'm going to start at the first 48. Then answered the Jews and said unto him. Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast the devil. They were trying to tell the man of God that he has a devil. Yeah, this is the son of God that they are talking to. My, my. Hallelujah. Jesus answered. Have I not a devil but I honor my father. Have I not a devil but I honor my father and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily I say unto you if a man keep my saying he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him. Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead. And the prophets. And thou sayest, if a man keep my sayings, he shall never taste of death. See, they're, they're mocking, they're picking right. on him. They're, they're trying to make him feel like he's crazy. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? And the prophets are dead. Whom makest thyself? Jesus answered, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father, therefore, that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him, and if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar unto you. But I know him and and keep his sayings. Oh my, God. my God, I know him and I keep his sayings. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Oh then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? My, my God. God, how many of you know we're gonna face some opposition? We all are facing opposition. Oh, yeah. And this is this is a perfect example of opposition right here. My Lord. Let me keep reading. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I, I am. am. Yes, sir. Before. <laughs> Gotta find my way back. My Lord. <laughs> they needed to find their way back. Yes. Because in the beginning. <laughs> he was in the beginning. Yes. Hallelujah. But see, what they were busy doing is yes, looking God. with their carnal mind. Yes. And, and, and if you know what the word of God says in Romans, that a carnal mind will cause you to be separated mm. from God. Mm. So we can't think with the carnal mind. We got to see him as he is. And that is spirit. Yes. yes, he came in the flesh. But he operated in the spirit. I'm about to yes. show you right yes. Then yes. took they up stones to cast at him. Yes. But Jesus hid himself. Mm. What? My Lord. Mm. Jesus hid himself. Yes. And went out of the temple. Going through the midst of them. The and so passed. Yes, my Lord. Now, it said he went through the midst of them. Right through him. He hid himself. My Lord. He ain't a witch. He ain't a sorcerer. Oh, yeah. He ain't the root doctor. My God. But his name is Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. So when I read this, I was like, well, I, I need to find my way back, God, because, you know, we all face these oppositions and things coming up against us. People want to pick up the stones and throw the rocks. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What you doing? You got this. You got that. They want to throw the stone. But you know what? I can do. You know what we all can do? We point to Jesus. See, I got a, I got a trophy. I got salvation on me. I can point that. Jesus did it. And God said he went. Yeah.
Father. I thank God because just even if I don't read nothing else, just off of that story, I see off of that scripture, I see hope. I see faith. I see salvation. I see power, authority, and dominion all in operation just in that one scripture right there. Hallelujah. If you don't know what hope is, I'm going to give you a couple of notes. Hope, hallelujah, defined in the Webster's Dictionary, is, it, it is as something that is hoped for, a person or a thing uh, in which expectations are centered, the feeling that what is wanted can be had or the event that uh, will turn out for its best. But what the word describes hope is, and this is the hope that we have to have in order to even be able to receive salvation. This is the biblical hope. It is a confident expectation. Hope is a firm assurance regarding things that are unclear or unknown. Jesus had a hope in his father. He had a hope from where he came from. Hey, somebody even ventured to say he had a hope in himself because him and the father were one. The father, the son, and the Holy Ghost. So he had a confident expectation of himself. Hallelujah. 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 Hope is a firm assurance regarding things that are unclear or unknown. Romans chapter 8 and 24. For in this hope we are saved. Yes. But hope that is seen yes. is no hope That's right. at all. Amen. So y'all, okay, we can't be complaining about anything really when it comes to the things of Christ because he intends for us to expect. He intends for us not to see what we are asking for. Mm -hmm. Why? Because our hope is going to cause us to have faith. Our hope is going to invoke our faith. Yes. Who hopes for what they already possess? Right, right. right. If you already got it, you don't have to hope for it. Right. right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. But if we hope for that what we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Yes, wait for and, it. And, and I have been taught that the word wait doesn't mean to sit down That's right. and wait. That's right. Doesn't mean to stand around and wait. Right. Don't mean to look at your brother and your sister like, are you going to do it? My God. It doesn't mean that. It means to serve. To serve. Right. Huh. Amen. So we are to, while we are hoping right. for that thing, right. my God, that we are wanting, we have to serve. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. While I am while I am hoping for reconciliation and restoration of my family, I don't know about you, but I'm going to serve. And I promise the Lord and I serve him until I die. I serve him. Even if he chooses not to allow me to see it, I'm going to serve him because I have a hope of an expected end and that end is glory. And no matter what, I still have the victory. No matter what, you still have the victory. Hallelujah. We have an assurance living in Christ. Yes. We can live eternal when we do good and are rich in good deeds. Hallelujah. All you got to do is do good. It ain't hard. It's not hard to do. The Bible just requires a little bit more than we want to do sometimes. Nah. But if we do good, and this is in the word, y'all. Yeah. 
In 1 Timothy 6 and 19, it says, Lay up in store for yes, them sir. a good foundation against the time to come, that they may hold on to eternal life. We need a good foundation. And this right here, the word is the foundation. This right here, the solid, this is the solid rock. Hallelujah. We say oftentimes in the church on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking. Sand. Sand. Oh, that is so true. Anything else is not going to stand. But when you begin to build your life on things eternal, God can lift you up. See what he'll do. He'll set you in a position. This is why when they say, a lot of people say, uh, I got to get right before I get saved. Wrong. You got to get saved before you so get you right. can get right. Yeah. Hallelujah. You got to get saved That's before right. you can get right. Yeah. So in order to do that, you have to know you got to build your hope on things eternal. Right. You got to stand on the solid rock so he can set you up and put you in a position to serve. And see, once you get in that position, then the circumcision starts. Hallelujah. He'll begin to take some things off for you. Yeah. He'll begin to remove some bad habits. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. He'll begin to remove them side looks you be giving people. Yeah. He'll begin to circumcise them, cut off the foreskin because he needs you the way that he needs you yeah. to operate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, it ain't going to feel good and it ain't going to be easy. But if you just do it, yeah. hallelujah, if you just say, okay, God, hallelujah, some of us have to be brought to a point of submission. Hallelujah. In order to be, to be brought in the condition that he wants us to be in. Oh, God, but I come to tell somebody today, baby, you don't have to take the hard road. Yeah. You can listen now. Listen you can hear the word of yeah. God. And you can turn My right God. now yeah. from your opposition. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And go straight way. Yeah. Hallelujah. And allow God to give you your edge. Yeah. I want to speak to my young people right now. Listen, young people, you don't have to live off mama and daddy's Holy Spirit. Yeah. The same spirit, the same anointing that mama and daddy have is also available to you. Yeah. And see, in this time and in this season, God is calling for a generation, a holy generation yeah. that will serve him. How is it going to happen, mamas, daddies, aunts and uncles, if we are not pushing our children yeah. to the word? How is it going to happen if we are not pushing our children to receive the Holy Ghost? Yeah. I feel like spreading out some young people on the altar. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because it's time. Yeah. It's time out for us sitting back complacently yeah. while our children are yeah. going to hell in a way. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of seeing the devil kill, steal, and destroy because we want to operate in the spirit of error. It's not cool. And then we want to call ourselves saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. But we won't step outside of the pulpit. We won't step outside of our homes. We won't step outside of nowhere else to go out and reach a soul. I pray God gives somebody a test. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you don't have one, I pray that you experience something that gives you an unction that you, yeah. hallelujah, are victorious and can make it so whatever is in you can be spread out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch. I want him to stretch you wide. Hallelujah. Expand and enlarge yeah. your coast. Yeah. Oh God, so you can be used of him. Mama. That's what it's about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can live eternal when we store up incorruptible treasures. Hallelujah. Turn with me. Let's see what incorruptible treasures are. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 20. Hallelujah. See, I can't tell you. I can't get up here and tell you if I can't show you. And that's one thing that I've learned since I've been up under uh, the tutelage of Pastor David and Sherry all good is to not just talk what I talk, but also talk what I walk. Hallelujah. And walk what I talk. Hallelujah. I want to be able to prove what is good and acceptable. We all have 
have to be able to prove what is good and acceptable unto Lord, unto the Lord. Amen. Matthew chapter six and twenty. Store up incorruptible treasures. My Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to start at 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth where and rust death corrupt, where thieves break through to steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust dust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, hallelujah, somebody say where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, the whole body shall be full of light. Do you understand what that means? If you have a focus, if your eye be single, if you are, if you are, if you are focused on God, then the whole body can be filled up with light. Your mind can be here and your body in one place else, or or you can't be here in your mind. Another place. We got the focus. Pastor Sherry always say, "Focus, Yolanda." Yeah. Hallelujah. Light is more powerful yeah. when it is going in one direction. Yeah. It's more powerful. That's how a laser is created. That's how laser cuts because the light is focused. Yeah. So if we are going to be able to live yeah. in Christ, we're going to be able to carry our assignments, babies. Yeah. We got to be focused. Okay. We got to focus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You gotta find a word that's dealing with your situation right. and apply it. Yeah. It's that simple focus. and that easy. Yes, you got Lord. to focus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, the yes. next thing we have to do, we can live eternal when we guard what has been entrusted to our care. Hallelujah. Nice. You gotta guard your anointing. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Why? Because the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's I right. know this might be elementary for some of y'all, but I'm trying to help somebody. I'm not really trying to be deep today. Right. I'm trying to help somebody. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Yes. And if you're not guarding what he entrusted to your care, he's going to take it. Hallelujah. Then we have to go into battle, go into war just to get your stuff back. Right. When you can be a good steward over what you have already. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In order for us to live eternal, mm. we have to turn away from godless chatter. Nice. Profane and vain. My Hallelujah. My, my, my. That mm. means, oh God, if I'm going to be saved, if I'm going to be saved and not backslide. Uh. Hallelujah. I can't go around talking about my sister and my brother. My, my. Oh, even if we ain't cursing them out. Hallelujah. Even if we may not be slandering their name. Mm. Just a simple anything out of line to give the devil anything nah. uh, to work with is profane it's vain excuse me nah, nah. hallelujah so we have to be mindful what we say we can't be involved in every kind of conversation Amen. hallelujah thank you god in order to live eternal hallelujah we have to turn away from opposing ideas hallelujah opposition and that which is false called knowledge why because it will cause you to walk in the spirit of error proof is in the word hallelujah in first timothy 6 and 21 it says which some professing have error concerning the faith. That means some of us who are already saved are walking in the spirit of error. And I'm just trying to help you get it right today. I'm just trying to help you get it lined back up in the word so that you can be effective ministers of the gospel. I came to save souls. We all should be ready to save souls. Hallelujah. This simply means even those who have claimed salvation like I said before, have carried the spirit of error because they did not turn away from opposition. What are you living? Are you living forward? Or are you living backwards? Hallelujah. You might say, well, Sister Yolanda, what do you mean? 
clothes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. What are you living? Are you living forward? Are you living backwards? We have to identify our position. Christ came to set us free. Save the unsaved. Christ came to set you free. Oh, trust me. When you get saved, you're still going to need some, some freedom. You're still going to have to understand that Christ came to set you free. Because once you get saved, you're going to be tried, tested even the more. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You have to know that he came to set you free. Hallelujah. So if I'm turning toward Christ, if I'm going in the direction of Christ, I'm living forward. But if I look back, hallelujah. If I look back to the old way of doing things, if I look back to the old way of saying things, I'm going backwards. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. And I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to go back. That's right. Amen. I can't go back. My God. There's nothing there yeah. to go back to. That's right. Hallelujah. So I've got to press and I've got to move Bless forward. The Lord. Hallelujah. Let's take a look at opposition because I want you to be able to identify. I want to help you to identify right where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is opposition? 1 Kings 11, 1 through 43. I'm not going to read all of that. But that's, that scripture is talking about King Solomon, who was David's son. Hallelujah. God entrusted so much in his hands. God gave him 12 tribes. He put him over, placed him over 12 tribes. But, David, but uh, excuse me, Solomon, hallelujah, hallelujah, he, he was living backwards. He forgot the covenant that he had with God. And he allowed the lust of his flesh to take wives from nations that God told him not to take wives from. Amen. I've been reading my word since. Yes. Hallelujah. I've been yes. in my word. Hallelujah. And so when he took those wives, it caused uh, uh, what we might say is a curse to come upon him and not in his in his house, his uh, his tribe not to even be given to his son, but to a servant. Wow. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell you, I don't want to be moving backwards. I don't want to be going backwards in everything that I need, everything Thing that I want is in front of me and I miss it because I decide I want to follow after the lust of my flesh. Nah. Huh. I don't nah, nah. want to miss it. I don't want to miss. I don't want to see oh, someone that God has called to serve me. Hallelujah. Get my portion. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He'll do it. Don't look at me funny. Nah, nah. He'll do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just like the talent. If you got a talent and you take it and you hide it Man. and you don't use it, what does the word say? Get he'll take it, it. Yes, he and he'll give it to the one that's using yeah. it. Hallelujah. Yes, so will. I don't want to live backwards, that's Pastor. Right. I don't want to see my stuff Man. given away. Man. I don't want to see what God intended for me to have. Yeah. Somebody else raise. Somebody say, I'm going to get my stuff. Go on, Hallelujah. Yes, I am. Yes. Opposition. My Lord. Opposition is resistance or deceit. It's antagonizing or hostility. It shows for hostility. The act of placing the opposite or the state of position of being placed opposite. Mm. The longitude of two heavenly bodies when their longitude or right ascension differ by 180, 180 degrees. Let me give you an example of what that looks like. Good is over here. Evil is over here. 180. Opposition that way. Turn that way and turn this way. Hallelujah. They are in opposition of each other. And in the book of Genesis, from the beginning, God let us know that evil and good cannot come together. Right. There's enmity is what the Bible says. Yes. It's enmity. Right. Ha. Between good and evil, it's always going to be a power struggle between good and evil. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. So we cannot allow opposition, hallelujah, to hinder us, to keep us in a talk of war. Hallelujah. Keep us from getting our stuff. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. When you are in opposition with God, it causes separation. Hallelujah. It causes separation. And like I stated before, we cannot be in carnal mind and expect to operate in the things of God. Uh, it's not going to happen. Right. It's not going to work. Some things you have to cut off. Some things you just have to stop doing. It don't take a rocket science. 
scientists. It, it don't take the prophet coming and telling you and getting all in your mess and helping to tell you what you're doing. It, it don't take all of that. You know what's good and you know what's evil. Right. It's as simple as turning yes. away from it. Yes. So you can get in position, hallelujah, to operate in the kingdom of God yes. as you are needed. Hallelujah. Do opposites attract? Yes, they do. You're going to be, it still looks good. Yes, it does. My, 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 my. It looks good. Uh. It looks good. Mm. It makes you want to try it out. It makes you want to test the waters. But I'm telling you today, evil is not good. Right. Hallelujah. Evil will cause you to lose your mind. Nah. Evil will keep you in a place of isolation yeah. and desolation for the one thing that you saying you have hope in. Nah. You have hope for. You cannot get an expected in if you're staying in a death position. Yeah. Hallelujah. My Hallelujah. My God came to give life and to give it more abundantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. What God wants is to bring us into oneness with him. He wants to bring us into like mind with him. So we can function as Christ did as we went through the scripture before. Hallelujah. We can move through the crowds uh, unharmed. Those who want to kill us. We can move through the crowds unharmed. Why? Because we have a work to do. So many times they tried to kill Jesus. So many times they tried to crucify him early. But you know what? It couldn't happen because it wasn't time. It wasn't a part of the assignment yet. It couldn't happen. So he needed the ability to be able to go and do what he needed to do if it meant disappearing. Hallelujah. He did it a couple of times, a few times that I can recall. Hallelujah. In the word of God. He did it. He did it. He did it. And so now we got to get ourselves in position, ready to do what Christ did. What would Jesus do? Right. You better praise me. We have it written on the Bibles, on bumper stickers on the car. Right. What would Jesus do? Yeah. But we're not doing what he did. Oh, we're not doing what he did. Uh, because we're so trapped in our own mind. We're so trapped in our own circumstances. Uh, some of y'all, y'all might not be trapped. If you're out of the box, praise God in glory. Now you need to be trying to help somebody get out. It's too many people dying. My pastor said today, I wonder what would happen. Oh God, because the Christian home, uh, the Christian family is dwindling down in percentages. Uh, oh God. Oh God, that was scary for me, Pastor. That thing stuck with me in my spirit. If I stay, if we stay in a position, in a condition, ah, uh, my Lord, my Lord, where we are walking in the spirit of error my God. and not hearing wow. God correctly, wow. what's gonna happen? Yes. I don't want a Babylon experience. Hey, my Lord. I don't. My Hallelujah. I don't want my family to have to be wa washed out. Right, burn up mm. because of sin. Mm. Don't you understand? Because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross, we have authority, yes. we have power and dominion yes. to take back the keys. Yes. We have yes. a power, we have yes, we a do. power yes. to go and live My. the way God has called us to live. Yes. People of God, yes, 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 yes. yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we do. I'm preaching to myself. Yeah. Well, we don't know which way to go. God, do I gotta? Do 
God. You have that power in your name. Yes. You can listen to Socrates, Buddha, uh, Flo Yo on the corner. Wow. You can listen to all of them tell you whatever they want to tell you. But what I know is that this word right here wow. has power. Yes, it does. And it works. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Solomon. Disobedience caused the people of whom he took wives of to rise up against him. See, we about to go somewhere else. Hallelujah. All the lust of your flesh, your wicked desires. They feel good while you're in them right now. Right. It felt real good to be in the club, on the stage, rocking the crowd. It felt real good to get off the stage and go get me about three or four shots of Hennessy and turn up, turn up, as y'all say. We felt, felt real good in that sin. But guess what? When I decided I was going to live right and do right, yes. those same people that I was doing whatever I was doing with, we won't shout, but I can't let us go shout right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Those same people that I was living in the world with, fighting for, ah. hallelujah, drinking with, ah. going clubbing, going to the motel with, hallelujah. When I decided to live right, Man. when I decided to do right, that's yeah. what happened. They got ghosts. Peace. Opposition. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, they're on the other side now. They're going the other way, y'all. Uh, uh, Yolanda who? Yeah, Yolanda yeah. what? Yeah. Uh, how, oh, she thinks she's all of that now. Uh, she can't go out with us. They became my enemies. Uh, my disobedience. And I'm saying disobedience because God was calling me then. God has been calling me since I was nine years old. But it was my choice to run and go. Right. It was my choice. God has been calling you. Hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody. God has been calling you from a young age. But because you think it's a little something out there in the world that you want to do. Oh, you think, oh, I'm not strong enough to live holy. God, I can't save my body that long. I need somebody to hold me. Ah, God will cause opposition to rise up against you, baby. So hard. Anybody else in here that's sold out? 
Immediately, immediately, there fell on him a mist 
Are you ready to find your way back? 